Hello and welcome to the Friday, December 27th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, I told you I want to publish at least one more podcast and we also had a number of great diaries over the holidays, but the, the couple of minutes I have your attention for, I really don't want to waste and focus on one particular issue that you definitely should address as quickly as possible. And that's a vulnerability in the Citrix application delivery controller and Citrix gateway. Those systems used to be known as Net Netscaler and Netscaler Gateway before Citrix acquired the product. So the problem here is that this is a relatively easy to exploit directory traversal vulnerability that allows arbitrary code execution on these products, which of course usually secure your perimeter. Now with this access, an attacker, for example, could get access to your network or of course manipulate these devices. Citrix did originally publish an advisory on the 17th. It hasn't really gotten much attention, but uh, on the 23rd, so on Monday this week, Positive Technologies, which originally discovered this vulnerability, did publish their blog post and that really has gotten more attention. So now there is more focus on this vulnerability and also more awareness, of course, likely also among the bad guys. Good news at this point, I don't see any exploit attempts against this vulnerability using our honeypots. But then again, our honeypots aren't really good in emulating these Citrix devices. We may fix this. So they would really more sort of get internet wide scans for the vulnerability and not so much more targeted attempts. And of course, most enterprises, I would guess, have a Citrix device like this somewhere in their network. So certainly important. So what should you do? Well, a read up on the advisory. I will add a link to the show notes. It has steps that you can take to mitigate this vulnerability. Now, if I understand the mitigation steps correctly, what they're really doing is they're blocking any URLs that contain slash VPNS slash. That's sort of the pattern here that triggers this vulnerability. Now, with similar vulnerabilities, I often mentioned that you shouldn't expose these devices to the world. Well, uh, that's actually not really valid here in this case uh, because these Netscaler and Citrix uh, gateways, they're usually, well, uh, your gateway, they're your VPN gateway. So you have to kind of expose them to the world. If you can, then of course, having another layer in front of these devices, some kind of web application firewall, you could use them to do pretty much the same thing that Citrix recommends here by blocking URLs that contain slash VPN slash. So that's all I want to focus on. I'm thinking about maybe doing like a webcast Monday or Tuesday. If you're interested in that, let me know. I want to first uh, judge whether there is sufficient interest uh, over all of these long weekends and such that people are uh, building this week and next week. That's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.